Do you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24? Go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's more economic than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an additional 6% off using promo code ELI at checkout. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, we have Foot Champ Tactics. This is what I just used for 10 0 on playoffs. No lie. See, I show you guys proof all the time. If you guys look at other people that post tactics and they never show you proof, they never show rank ones, rank twos, or rank three, even. They don't show any of that. They don't show elite division, nothing like that. Then why even believe them? I show you guys proof. Yeah, it's just playoffs, but I mean, I didn't even use the best team I have. I'll show you the team that I used if I can go straight into uh, my actual club. Give me a second so I can show you where is my club. Did I just miss it? All right, let's go straight into my club. This is what I used. Um, I'm doing every all of this live, so you guys can't say I'm lying, anything like that. So you guys saw exact proof of the team that I'm using, and that I just went uh, ten and zero. I'll show you guys rewards at the very end. These are the last rewards for team of the year. I didn't use one single team of the year card except for Peter Check, um, and I do have a better team. If you want to stick to the end, I'll show you guys my actual best team. And with a few team of the years in there that I packed, and then I'll go over the packs in a little bit. But yeah, this is the team I'm going to be using. The only other card that I'm going to change is Saliba. That is it. I'll probably upgrade him, but for now, he's fine. Uh, let's get into the actual tactics. So I changed only one formation from last week, um, the 4-3-1-2. I took out the 4 triple 2 but if you guys like the 4 triple 2 then by all means, you can leave it on there. Um, or if you guys like the 3 4 2 one that I posted this week, that one's really good too. Um, you can put that here. Well, I'll show you which one to swap it out for whatever you need to swap out for, if that makes sense. So, the main formation I'll be using this week personally is going to be 4 3 1 2. Uh, I am going to start off with a 4 2 3 1 just to see how my opponent is playing, if he's playing a little aggressive, defensive, whatever he's playing, and then I'll switch into a 4 3 1 2. Um, my comeback formation, or if I need a little bit more creativity, a little bit more attacking, I'll go to the 4 3 2 1. <clears throat> and my constant press will be a 442. Also, my 4231 will be my formation to close off the game. Uh, once I'm winning 2-0, 1-0, whatever it is, uh, it's like minute 60, minute 70, and I want to close off the game. I'm gonna switch to the 4231. Uh, so I'll start off the game and I'll close off the game with this formation, but then I'll switch into this formation or this formation. Kind of depends on who I'm playing up against. So let's get into the main formation this week, the 4312, this formation right here. If you guys don't like this 4312, uh, you can go into my channel, swap it out for the 4231 if you want to do that one. Uh, you can swap it out for the 442, 4222, 41212 narrow, second variation. Um, you can swap it out. You can swap it out for any of my 433s as well, especially this one. This one's really good, the 433 fourth variation. And... This one's pretty good too. Um, it's more possession based if you guys like Tiki Taka play. Or you can switch it to this one right here, my 4213. Um, any of those formations that I just told you about, that's what you can replace in this slot. Or let me show you guys what I mean. You can replace on this this slot, your go to slot. Um, but I'm going to be playing the 4312. This is what I just used to go 10 0. So I'm going to keep it as is. Um, balance 37 width, 60 depth. This is old gen. If you're new gen, 40 width, 63 depth. That's it. No more um, manual or auto press unless you absolutely want to do that, which will be the 71 depth. That's up to you. I am staying away from that right now just because a whole bunch of people packed. Not a whole bunch of people, but some people packed messies, which are very, very frustrating. And I'll have a video over that another, another day. That's a topic for another conversation. So everybody has these team of the year messies, best. Um, Eusebios, they just got stacked teams with a few team of the years and Sawas and I just don't want to get caught on the counter because obviously I'm playing with the Arsenal team and uh, my center backs aren't the best so I'm playing a, a more mid line a kind of a high line but not a super high aggressive line so I'm playing more like a mid high line so not a low block but more like a mid block so that's why I'm playing 60 depth or 63 on new gen. But if you don't like it, then by all means, you could do the 71 depth for the um, manual press. And this is going to be on all three formations, by the way. That's why I'm going in detail in this one. So on all the other ones, I don't really have to go into too much detail. Now, if you are on old gen, 
and you don't like the 60 depth if you want to go a little bit lower you can go to 57 or 55 if you're on new gen and you don't like 63 then you can drop it to 60 and kind of leave it there i wouldn't mess with it anymore um, balance direct passing on both with 47 players in the box seven corners of free kicks one and one i'm not going to go over who goes where anything like that on any of these tactics uh go into my channel i go into in-depth like 12 to 13 minute long videos every single time going over who to play where why i play certain people certain places tips and tricks on how to play with the certain formations all that good stuff just go into my channel you'll figure that out there um instructions goalie comes with cross sweeper keeper because of that whip cross meta both center backs stay back right back stay back overlap um so he doesn't join in on the attack too much but when he does it's just to give some um actual passing support some uh yeah an extra passing lane basically uh your left back is going to be joining on the attack balance overlap so he'll be acting acting like a wing back um your center center mid stay back while attacking cover center and your right center mid is going to be balance everything cover center so i do make this defender in a 442 so both of these two will be the two center mids your uh, your cdm will be or your center center mid will be your left center mid when you're defending and your right center mid will be your right center mid when you're defending your left center mid will be your left mid when you're defending so he'll be in front of uh, your left back so he's balanced everything cover wing and then your cam will be um your right mid when you're defending in a 442 so he's come back on defense get into box or cross that is it uh and then both strikers i have both on stay central stay forward getting behind on both of them um that is it on that formation just to be a little bit more attacking a little bit more uh, tiki taka play like quick quick passes in the middle and then just send, send those through balls and just kill off your opponent that's basically what i what i use that formation for uh, i don't really do a lot of skill moves i just do a lot of through balls fake shots uh yeah some cutbacks here and there and some travella crosses that's what i've been using a lot lately too um four three two one this is gonna be my second formation my backup formation if my if the four three one two doesn't work it'll be this one it's probably the best attacking formation in the game besides any three at the back formations now if you don't like this four three two one if you want to be a little bit more attacking then go into my channel look up the three five two that i posted a few weeks ago that one's really good still i would use that one the 5212 I posted earlier this week is very, very good. Amazing at attacking. You can use that one as well. Um, or you can use the 3421 I posted a few days ago. That one was close to making this weekly's tactics. And I might, if I struggle on foot champs this week, I might actually slide this one in into my ultra attacking slot instead of my constant press. Because I don't ever really use a constant press. Um, so I might use this just giving you guys a heads up. So if you guys want to make this work and put it in one of the slots, by all means you can. Um, but we're going to stick with this formation for now. The four, three, two, one, uh, everything is the same balance 37 width, 60 depth, old gen, new gen, 40, 63, same thing, self explainable. That's, that's what's been working for me. That's a sweet spot. So I'm gonna kind of keep it there. The only ones that change a lot are more of, uh, the three at the back formations. Those kind of change a little bit or five at the back. Balance direct passing with 47 players in the box. Six on this one. Corners two and one. Corners two just because I want a little bit more attack uh, on the corners. I do make this defending a 442 as well. I'll show you in a little bit. Goalie, same thing. Comes across sweeper keeper. Both center backs stay back. Right back stay back. That is it. Left back, balance overlap. So joining on the attack again if you don't like by the way if you guys don't like to attack with the left back and you guys want to attack with the right back then just flip-flop everything on on both of these formations or actually all three formations i just like to attack more with the left back more than the right back that's just how i am so it is what it is but if you guys want to attack more on the right side if that's who you guys are then just flip-flop everything uh center center mid is going to be stay back while attacking cover center your right center mid is balance everything cover wing in this scenario this guy becomes the right mid this time uh, instead of the center mid so just keep that in mind and your left center mid becomes the actual left center mid when you're defending uh, in front of your your center back uh, when you're defending a 442 stay back while attacking stay on the edge of the box cover center uh, stay on the edge of the box i have it there because of the travellas travellas are the best way to score when somebody is parking the bus you'll find the higher the wins that you go in foot champs or the higher divisions you go People will hit you on either A, counterattacks, because they're going to be parking the bus, or B, they're going to be spamming off size traps. So, either or, if you need, if they're parking the bus, then you're just going to spam Travellas back at him just to frustrate him, because he brought that upon himself, because he's parking the bus. So, you're going to do Travellas against him. But if not, 
um, then I would do a lot of through balls whenever they are doing uh, their spamming off size trap. I would do quick one twos uh, with your striker and one of the center mids and kind of send them on a, on a through ball afterwards and you'll kill that offside trap like that. But yeah, um, that's that. Your left forward will be come back on defense so he, he or she will defend in front of the left back. So they'll be your left mid in a 4-4-2 uh, and get in behind just to piss off your opponent so they can be running in between the half spaces. I go over this every single week. Uh, they can go, you guys are probably already tired of me, but I'm not. Um, they can be attacking in in between those uh, half spaces. So in between the center back, let me show you what I mean. In between the center back and the full back, in between these two, that's called a half space. And they're just going to be running in between those. And if they don't manually defend, then they're going to get torn apart. And that's why I have it as is. Uh, your right forward is getting behind. Same thing for the half spaces, but stay forward. So he'll be your outlet player to send quick through balls to. Uh, so you can build up to the left and do send quick through balls to the right. That's how I use this formation. So keep in mind. Build up to the left, through balls to the right. That way you can confuse your opponent so you're not always attacking one dimensional. And then your main striker stays central. That is it. All right, my go to formation, or sorry, my starting off formation. And then when I want to shut off the game, like I said earlier, will be 4 2 3 1. This is my more defensive formation. I just love this formation. I know I like the back of my hand. So it's my go to. Um, balance 37 width, depth 60, same thing. So depth or with new gen 40 depth 63 uh, if you don't like it i kind of already told you how to change it on the other formation so just kind of copy that if you guys pause the video or if you guys skip through this and you guys don't listen to me talking about all of this and that's on you because i go over everything on how to set everything up so you have you guys have no difficulties whenever you guys get in game at least not with your tactics anything else will be on you but i kind of show you everything so if I know people skip around. I can see my analytics. I see that people don't watch the whole thing, and you guys just pause and copy and paste everything. If you do that, you're never going to learn how to customize things for yourself. I'm just giving you a quick, good template that I use to help you and what I feel like is good for the average player or above average player. And if you're a below average player, I'll tell you how to fix that and how to become an average and kind of go from there. But you guys need to be able to listen to these things so you can kind of customize them for yourself. Um, sorry. No more ranting. My apologies. I just had to get that off my chest. Uh, balance direct passing with 47 players in the box, 7. Uh, but since you are defending more in this formation, you can drop it to 4 players in the box. That's up to you. I leave it at 7 because I still want to uh, make my opponent rage quit, score as many goals as I can. Corners and free kicks, 1-1. One and one. Goalie comes across the super keeper. Both center backs stay back. Right back stay back overlap. Left back balance overlap. Same thing as the other formations uh both cdms cup passing lane stay back while attacking cover center on both cam is basic support and get into boxer cross basic so they're not so far ahead that way you have an outlet player whenever you're trying to get out of a press you send it to him and then you can send a quick through ball to either your striker or your right mid left mid or your right cam left cam because they're called cams but they're really right mid left mid you can kind of send them through balls and that'll be your outlet player so make sure make sure you have a very very good playmaker right here as your cam that has some type of uh, passing play style and get into the box or cross for those uh, cutbacks because when in doubt a cutback will get you out and also also when your striker moves out of the way he'll fill in that spot as the actual striker and they're going to be kind of flip-flopping positions all game long and it's very nice to see especially if you like creative plays like that which i absolutely love uh, i've always loved this formation so it helps out a lot right cam Come back on defense, get into boss for cross, so you can defend in a 4 4 2 uh, or 4 4 1 1 and get into boss for cross because those cutbacks and left cam, same thing. Come back on defense, get into boss for cross. This is the only thing you could change for yourself. Listen, stay central, get in behind is what I play, but sometimes when my opponent is spamming off size trap, I pause the game and I'll switch it to stay forward. That is what I've been doing, and that's what's been helping me out a lot because when he's trying to spam uh, size traps, I literally start pushing his defensive line more and more and more back. And it's frustrating because the more he spams off size traps, the more my striker runs behind and just opens up space for my right cam, left cam, and my main cam. So keep that in mind. If you if you feel like you're struggling with off size traps, then put stay forward. If not, do basic. Um, nobody else is going to tell you this because they're probably not struggling with that yet. Or they haven't been in the elite division yet. But that's what they've been using a lot to help out with defending. Um, now, this is my main formation. My constant press formation. 4-4-2. Uh, not my main formation. My main 
ultra attacking constant press formation 442 it's the same thing as every single week you can pause this part and just kind of copy and paste everything i'm just going to go over what i've been seeing lately in the elite division and division one what i've been noticing um a lot more people are playing uh the offsize traps again they're they're trying to spam more travelas um from tight tight angles i guess because of that evo um the travela evo that just came out not that long ago so just be aware of the travelas try to prevent any travelas um the german cross is back a lot of people don't really talk about that too much so just pay attention whenever your opponent is sending one of the strikers or one of the midfielders up into the box to do those german crosses just be aware of that because of that whip cross metal um if you do play people that do have any team of the year defenders just run away from them when you have the ball and do quick one twos around them don't try to skill around them because if you skill around them most of the team of the year defenders are way too good and uh, for an average striker for me like i have kelly smith and Henri, i can't really dribble around around them so what i do is i just do quick one twos with my cam or my one of my center mids and i just send over the top through balls and i wait for him to pull out his defender and then i just send a quick through ball over the top and that is usually how i score how i create plays and stuff like that um because people have better players now they have been pressing a little bit more so because they are pressing a little bit more i've been doing less skill moves and more ball rolls and fake shots than normal and sometimes some step overs occasionally a reverse elastico here or there so i've just been using and abusing the ball rolls to, to open up the passing lane because when they're pressing you, you ball roll and you can move out the way and just send a quick one too. But that's basically what I've been doing. And I've been using the wings as much as I possibly can because a lot of people are playing with the 4-3-2-1 and the 4-3-1-2 that I posted. Um, and because they're playing with that formation, it's very congested in the midfield area. So I've just been playing on the wings. So because I've been playing on the wings, that's why I posted the 3-4-2-1 to abuse the wings, cut the wings, and destroy your opponent that way. Or the 4-2-3-1 because you can just do... Uh, one twos with the cams is what I mean. You can do one twos with uh, with these right here. You can do one twos with these and then just send them on over the top through balls. Uh, but yeah, let me see what else I've what else I've seen. Um, I'm gonna go into opening my packs by the way. Or actually, I'm gonna show you guys my other team and then I'll go over my packs real quick. If you guys want to stay tuned for that, if not, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. But if you guys want to stay here, the real ones that do support the channel i want to see um my actual team that i packed some team of the years on will be this this is what i've been using in the higher divisions right now just because it's a little bit more competitive than my arsenal past and present i've um, been using sedan got modric modric is, is god tier uh he's been god tier since he came out Mueller still pretty decent uh Henri, th these two crazy i swap out oberdorf with uh viera I play Vieira as center back and I play Oberdorf as a center mid. Um, and she's very, very good there. And I pack Garincha. Garincha's solid, but I don't know. I'm torn between him and Bernardo Silva. I don't know who's better, but that's what I've been playing in the higher divisions. I don't play with that in foot champs because then it makes it a little bit too easier. Too easy to win in foot champs, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but I want to have some type of competition, have a little bit have a little bit of fun while I'm playing. So that's why I play with the Arsenal past and present. Um, if I play with any super meta team, it's just, it gets boring because you know how you're going to play. You know how to go around everybody, you know? Wait, wasn't she? Oh, I thought it was Pop because I was about to say, wasn't Pop a, a team of the year? I'm opening up my my rank one uh, rewards, by the way. This thing takes forever to load. These servers are horrible right now. All right, I'm going to keep all this. Um, I don't even know if these are worth anything. I'm gonna just quick sell them. It is what it is. Let's keep it going. Um, let's, uh, let's see what else have I seen. Uh, okay, yeah. If people that have been using like Allison. Um, let's go with this mega pack. Allison, uh, Peter Check, stuff like that. Those goalies are very overpowered. They're very fast to run off the line. So I would recommend just letting go of sprint when you're coming up against them, or you can do R1 dribble if you want to, and ball roll them. Just ball roll and go around them. And don't even try to do a fake shot. The animation is too slow. Just ball roll. And then as soon as you do a ball roll, like as soon as you do the ball roll, go ahead and press um, uh, the shooting button. 
as soon as you press it, like, as soon as he finishes the ball roll and you press the shooting button while you're in the middle of the animation, it, it makes him shoot the ball faster. So it's just like a quick ball roll, shoot, and then the ball goes in. Because by then, the goalie can't get up anymore and can't steal the ball, if that makes sense. Um, that's another cheat code, I guess, or tips with Irvin's or, or Irvin's or wait, that's not my name. My name is Eli. Uh, Eli's tips. No, that doesn't sound right. The, the tips of Eli. No, that doesn't sound right either. Um, secrets with Eli. Let's let's just stick with that. All right, I didn't pack anything from from these packs. Let's see if we get anything here. Maybe at least a team of the week or something. Oh um, man, nothing. Nope. No team of the year. Oh, well. That was my last hoorah if I can get anything, but I didn't. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be safe, guys. Good luck on Foot Champs. Catch you guys later. Peace.